Electric vehicles are a great way to clean up the transportation sector, one of the biggest contributors to carbon emissions in the U.S. But an electric car is only as clean as the electricity that powers it. As the largest source of zero carbon energy in the U.S., nuclear power facilities will play a vital role in powering our rapidly growing fleet of zero emission electric vehicles. In response, the power companies that operate nuclear power plants are investing in a range of initiatives to take the lead. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about why nuclear energy could power Tesla vehicles sooner than you think. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. Duke Energy Corps, which operates 11 reactors, announced April 1 that it is investing $76 million in North Carolina's electric vehicle infrastructure, the largest such initiative in Southeast. Duke Energy plans to help fund nearly 2,500 new charging stations, as well as electric school buses and electric public transportation in the state. North Carolina deserves a cleaner, smarter energy future, and supporting electric transportation is a Duke Energy priority that will benefit our communities, our customers, and our future, our state," said Lang Reynolds, Director of Electrification Strategy at Duke Energy. This initiative will help accelerate public and private use of electric vehicles while reducing carbon emissions. The construction of the network of charging stations has filled an important gap for more people to own electric vehicles. Bloomberg New Energy Finance predicts that global sales of electric vehicles will grow from 1.1 million units in 2017 to 30 million units in 2030, creating a significant additional need for electricity to charge them. BNEF predicts that electric vehicles could account for 50% of the new car market by 2040. Demand for electric buses is growing faster than electric cars, BNF says. And the development of all electric vehicles will increase the demand for carbon-free production, of which nuclear is the main source. Because nuclear power plants generate large amounts of reliable, zero-emission energy and operate at night when electric vehicles are normally charging, they are an important part of electric vehicle charging infrastructure. It's not hard to decipher that if your electricity comes from zero-emission sources like solar, wind, hydro, or nuclear, your EV will run much cleaner than if it were powered by fossil fuels. Fossil material Electric cars that run on fossil fuels have roughly the same carbon footprint as gasoline-powered cars. The Union of Concerned Scientists, which recognizes the essential role our nuclear power plants play in the fight against climate change, offers an online tool where owners can see how clean their tram is depending on the make, model, and zip code where it's loaded. What is becoming clear is that owners of electric vehicles in states with higher nuclear rates, such as South Carolina or Illinois, are likely to have smaller greenhouse gas footprints. The deployment of electric vehicles has been driven by policy related to reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Procedures have been reviewed in several countries, such as China, India, Norway, the UK, France, and the Netherlands to phase out petrol and diesel vehicles over the next few decades. But reducing CO2 emissions from electric vehicles also depends on the source of electricity, the amount of energy used to make the battery, and the life of the battery. Aside from the batteries, which can be expensive, the rest of the EV actuators are relatively simple, paving the way for very inexpensive vehicles. Japanese automaker Nidec predicts car prices below $3,000 citing that the $4,200 Chinese Wuling Hongguang Mini EV released in mid-2020, manufactured by Saik GM Wuling, has sold out quickly. Darts in Latvia plans to produce them in Europe. In Japan, Idemitsu Kosan plans to market a similar vehicle for $14,000 by 2022. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. And that's all for the day, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.